Hello, today we're going to be looking at how to export an OMF file from Adobe Premiere to Adobe Audition. Now you might be thinking, why don't we just use the dynamic link? Uh, and that would be okay if you were working on the same computer system and you had all the video files and audio files that you needed on the same computer. However, we're simulating the scenario where you might be re working remotely from the video editor and they want to send that over to you at a different location so that you can work on it in Adobe Audition. So let's get started. Uh, I'm in Adobe Premiere to start off with. This is the project, it's all ready to go. So first of all, let's go to the file menu and go to export OMF. Now, you might also be thinking, well, can I send an AAF? Uh, the answer to that is no, because Audition cannot read AAF files. So it has to be an OMF file. And we're just going to name this. The sample rate will be 48 kilohertz. The bit depth will be 24 bits. The file option will be separate audio format broadcast wav and the render option will be trim audio files we're going to set the handle length to 100 frames that will give you four seconds if you're working at 25 frames per second at either end of the audio clip so you can adjust that and make it longer if you need to so that's all ready to go let's hit ok um, and then just choose a new location to save that and hit save and this may take some time depending on how many audio clips you've got but what it's doing is gathering up all of the media and putting it in a separate folder so when it's finished exporting we've just got a few messages here um, I'm going to ignore most of these. I think some of them are just saying that some of the clips were not long enough to have um, four seconds of handles either side. So we're just going to hit OK. Now we're finished in Adobe Premiere, but let's just have a look where it saved the files. Um, so in here we've got the OMF file, and then we've got the audio files folder. So those are the main files that you need along with a reference video file as well so we'll switch to adobe audition now and there are several ways you can open up an omf file in audition but the the way i'll show you is if you go to the file menu and go to import file um, navigate to where you've saved it Select the OMF file and open. Now you will get some warning messages here. Um, so it, it's, um, it's struggling to find the files. So you need to hit the linked media button and point it in the right direction. Now the audio files folder is where you want to be looking, but you need to choose the, the exact file that it's showing you here. Um, so it begins F0B. So let's have a look if we um, sort it by um, alphabetical order. That should help. And the file name ends in dot six. So it's that one there. Hit open. It's going to ask you for another file. Now, in my experience, it should only ask you for two files and then it should be able to find the rest on its own so again you just have to navigate to that file um, and it can be a little bit tricky because some of these file names are a little bit difficult to to spot and they're all very similar this one is fa9 and ends in dot 16 so it's that one um, so if we hit open now it's finding the rest of the files on its own so now that it's finished doing that it looks like it's all worked correctly. We've got all of the files there, it seems. 
the only thing we haven't got is the video so we can add that in now and if you go to the multi track menu and tracks you can add a video track that's created a blank video track make sure your cursor is at the very beginning of the session and then if you go back to multi track and insert files find your movie file open that up and it should place it on the timeline at the um, at the correct place um, now what's happened there is it's actually brought in the reference audio um, which I don't actually need because we already have that in the OMF so if I just hit delete now then it, it deletes that um, extra audio which we, we don't really need anyway if we just switch to the mixer view if I hit mixer here we can have a look at what's happened so all our tracks are here some of them were stereo files um, but you can see that they've not been panned left and right so any track that says left and then which sorry which has an L or an R at the end of it that means it's a stereo um, track really that it's that it's come from and we need to pan that accordingly so anything left needs to go 100 percent to the left anything right needs to go 100 percent um so that is a little bit arduous um and again might take you some time depending on how many tracks you've got uh, but it's worth doing for the the tracks to play back properly um, any that are mono tracks like this one here that's fine that can just say stay central but anything like say left or right needs to be panned so i'm not going to do all of these but you get the idea and um, apart from that everything looks okay we've got all our files there yeah and you can also see that anywhere um, where you've got um, volume automation that has also been brought in from the OMF so that's very useful um, and so there you go um, that's how to import an OMF